employee dies at desk found four days later. Jesus, talk about taking quiet quitting to the next level. His co-workers say he was the most dedicated worker in the office, so they just thought he was really deep into his work. Even though it was a sad moment, everyone had to laugh when they all finally realized that he wasn't avoiding meetings and ignoring emails just to be a dick. What the fuck is up, Internet? Welcome to the channel, and welcome to this episode of Crazy Ass News. The whole idea behind this series is that I scour the Internet for crazy, recent, under-the-radar news stories that I don't know anything about. I pick articles based solely on their headlines, and then I read through them while talking shit the whole time. A 60-year-old Arizona Wells Fargo employee scanned into her office on Friday on what appeared to be an ordinary workday. Then four days later, she was found dead in her cubicle. Oh, so this was a 60-year-old woman. I just assumed it was a dude. That's why nobody gave a fuck and checked on him. Damn, a 60-year-old woman. She went into work and then four days later, she was found dead in her cubicle. Holy fuck. Man, what's the old joke? I mean, I hope I die in my sleep so I don't have to go to work for nothing. Right? The next day, you'd hate to have to go to work and then leave work and get fucking sideswiped to death. Man, go to dying at work? Ugh. Man, poor lady. I wonder what... I wonder, just a medical emergency or what? Denise Prudhomme, 60, was found dead on August 20th in her office in Tempe, police said. Damn. So it was probably hot. Uh, maybe they probably had it as a Wells Fargo. And they probably had air conditioning. <laughs> I'm thinking, damn, she was in there for four days and it was probably hot as fuck. Because they had like, well, I don't know, this is back in August. But they're on like some kind of crazy streak of temps over 100 degrees. Uh, I don't know if that includes this or not. She had last scanned in the building at 7 a.m. on August 16th, the Friday, and there was no further scan in or out of the office, authorities say. Oh, so she went in on Friday. And nobody noticed her until four days later. So what, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? So Tuesday? That is fucked. Tempe police responded to the Wells Fargo office on the 1100 block of West Washington Street after on-site security called them about an employee they believed to be dead. She was pronounced dead at 4.55 p.m. Damn. So she got there at 6. So it was like the security guard was there. So it was like after everybody else already left. Damn, nobody gave a fuck about uh, Denise. Jesus. The cause of death is pending, determined by the Maricopa County uh, Medical Examiner. Police said the preliminary investigation showed no obvious signs of foul play. Alright, so nobody fucking stabbed her. Or shot her. So it was pro she's 60. I mean, it was probably like a health thing. Heart attack. Um, I mean, who knows, but Jesus. I can't imagine, it's bad enough dying at work, but imagine finding an employee dead at work. I mean, <laughs> great at dying is probably definitely worse. You definitely don't want to die at work. You don't want to die. But finding like a dead person at work, oh man, because then you gotta like, there's reports you gotta write, there's people you gotta fucking contact, you gotta have the police come in. Ugh, the investigation continues. Hmm, I'm curious to, I mean, this, the, the headline here is what grabs your attention, so I doubt we'll hear, we'll get follow-up on it. We might. It's not clear how Prudhomme had gone unnoticed for so long. NBC affiliate KPNX of Phoenix reported that she worked in a cubicle on the third floor away from the main aisle. Oh, so yeah. Nobody's even, the mailman is just throwing her shit. She's not even bringing it to her if she's not in the main aisle. Damn. That is crazy. An employee who spoke with KPNX on the condition of anonymity 
so that a colleague found her at her desk while walking around the building and that several people had smelled a foul odor but believed it to be faulty plumbing. Oh my god! Then he smelled like the fucking sewer. God! Dead body doesn't smell like the sewer. Like, fall, I mean, you would know a dead body. Like, something dead does not smell like fucking sewage. Damn! So people are like, what the fuck is that smell? Four days later, maybe the AC wasn't kicking like that. Maybe, maybe the heat is what killed her. Damn! And even the, that's bad enough to f you fucking smell your dead em fellow employee. God damn, what a rough day at this Wells Fargo, man. Wells Fargo confirmed she sat in an underpopulated area of the building, right? Underpopulated, so nobody liked her. <laughs> there was probably people who were like, oh my God, what's that smell? I hope Denise is dead. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> nobody wanted to sit next to her. I wonder if she always stank. That's fucked up. I shouldn't be saying that. I mean, RIP, Denise. Uh, prayers to your family. It's fucked up that you went out like this. I mean, honestly, I'm just like, it's just so crazy. We are deeply saddened by the loss of our colleague, Denise Pr Prudhomme. Our thoughts are with her family and loved ones, and we are in contact to ensure they are all well supported during this difficult time, the company said in a statement Thursday. Man, I mean, she probably had life insurance or something, or maybe something through the company. I mean, the company is, you know, they're not going to do a ton. I mean, whatever they're li liable to do, they'll do, but they're not going to go above and beyond. It's... I don't... What the fuck is Wells Fargo? Isn't that insurance? Wait, let me look it up real quick so I don't sound too fucking dumb. I'll be back! Yeah, it's a... It's a bank, so... <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna go... They're not gonna do anything too fucking crazy for her, her family. I mean, money's their game, and they're not gonna try to fucking shell out too much for Miss uh, Prudhomme's family. That's fucked up, though. I wonder, like, if you die on site at work, I wonder if there's, like, I don't know, if the, if the, if the business, depending on if the business is found at fault, like, if she died of, like, um, dehydration or something in the air conditioning and that area was fucked up, they probably have to pay some money. I don't, I doubt it. She probably just had a heart attack, but who knows. It said it is committed to the safety and wellness of our workforce and it is reviewing our own internal procedures after this event. Yeah, I mean, you gotta clear out the building. Nobody even g gave Denise a second thought. I mean, I guess she was like... Nobody's seen her leave probably on Friday, they didn't think of it. And then nobody came back in until Monday and never saw her, so they probably just didn't even think about it. Until shit started fucking stinking in the joint. God damn, that's crazy. Imagine smelling a fucking dead fellow employee. That would fuck with you, man, for sure. Counselors have been made available to support employees. Prudhomme's fa fellow employees were told of her death after the company notified her family, Wells Fargo said. Those motherfuckers already knew, right? Whoever the guy found her was like, yo, Denise is fucking dead. Get security. Security found that, like, yeah, that spread through the building long before Wells Fargo had a chance to tell anybody. Damn, that is crazy. Poor Denise. Clock in and never get the clock out. Fuck. That sucks. Poor lady. And I feel for her fellow employees, too. I mean, they probably... This probably fucks you up. Like, who knows what the relationship with it, regardless. Just the idea that she was, like dead depending on like finding out how she died that's gonna like you now they find out if there was if if somebody would have like peeked in you know what i mean before she died i'm she she it must have been something medical emergency that she just didn't make a sound nobody that's crazy insane I'm gonna pour one out for Denise tonight. Everybody else do the same that sees this. Like, Jesus, that is... That's pretty fucked up. God damn. R.I.P. Denise. Well, that's all I have for now. Make sure to let me know what you think about this video in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.